Hi everyone, Hunt Reviews here, the youngest movie critic on the internet, and it is time for a review of the new Paul Schrader film, First Reformed. First Reformed is written and directed by Paul Schrader, and this stars Ethan Hawke as a priest for a church, and this priest that Ethan Hawke is playing uh, had a tragedy. Uh, he lost his son. And so while all of this is happening through all this grieving, a member of the church, played by Amanda Seyfried, lost her husband to suicide, and a religious plot is uh, set in motion, uh, or that, at least that's what I got off the IMDb uh, plot summary for this movie. To be quite honest with you, if we're going to talk about what Paul Schrader is good at, uh, it's not directing. Paul Schrader is talented at writing. He's made some of the best movies of the recent decades, uh, such as Taxi Driver and Raging Bull, but he has directed some feature-length films. And if you just go on the IMDb and search up Paul Schrader uh, and go into his directing section, uh, you'll see that he isn't <laughs> he isn't a very good director. And so when I saw the trailer for this film, I, I was sort of hyped. Uh, well, at the same time, I was very skeptical because even though he's talented at writing, he's not very good at directing. And to be quite honest with you, this is uh, Paul Schrader's most ambitious and most unique film that he's ever made it in his entire discography. It's not really saying much because he's not really done anything above average for directing. Uh, writing standpoint, this is, uh, uh, compared to Raging Bull and Taxi Driver and uh, other stuff that he's written, uh, this is surface level. And I had an enjoyable time with the first Reformed. This movie uh, kind of just shows you that with a little bit of influence, any director could be good. And I, I, I'm not going to say the direction in this movie is good, but we'll get to that later. But this is Paul Schrader's best directed film. It might not be his best written film, but it's definitely his best directed film. So let's get off to the pros with this movie. My first pro is that it, it seems that Paul Schrader has actually gotten better with his directing. I'm not going to say that the direction in here is uh, Oscar worthy. Uh, but it is definitely better and a step in the right direction. Although I feel like Paul Schrader is just taking baby steps uh, throughout this entire movie because that's what this entire movie feels like. Paul Schrader taking baby steps in his uh, direction. It, 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 it has a lot of creative, artistic influence. Uh, you can definitely see where the influence and all that jazz comes from. Uh... However, I feel like Paul Schrader at times is showing off. And when he's showing off his direction in a creative and artistic way, it's 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 kind of cringy and, and, and goofy. There are a lot of scenes in here that uh, uh, take on supernatural aspects. And I, I don't feel the direction really worked. It was kind of just like me going, what? Like, there's a lot of shots in here that are just like, what? And Paul Schrader has a tendency to use out-of-frame shots. And there's also a lot of out-of-frame shots here. And it just kind of looks weird and goofy. And I, I think uh, Paul Schrader uh, just, sh like, should have used more... A laid back, uh, more competent direction because he needs to learn how to be more artistic in a couple of fields. As for his writing, I think the characters are really damn good in here. They have a lot of richness, they have layers, and they're very hard to get through, and they are quite amazing. The character I really connected with the most was uh, Ethan Hawke's character, who goes through the most uh, in this movie. I mean, he is the main character after all, but he does go through the most pain, the most trauma. Amanda Seyfried's character, I didn't connect with her as much as I did Ethan Hawke, but she's still a great character. The dialogue is 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 very is very good, um, but it's also questionable. Cinematography is wow. I didn't think it was gonna be all that good. Uh, 
despite that, it's really good. In fact, it might be some of the best cinematography I've seen of the whole year. It's very atmospheric, very eerie, and the cinematography works in a lot of scenes in this movie that really make it feel like it's this creepy ambient movie. The performances in this movie are fantastic. They are fantastic. Ethan Hawke as this priest gives one of the best performances in his career. It's such a great performance. Amanda Seyfried surprised me the most because I'm not a huge Amanda Seyfried uh, uh, fan. In fact, everything I've seen her in, I, I, I basically hate her. Here, she's great. Uh, I, won't she, I won't say that she's fantastic uh, like Ethan Hawke is, but she is definitely a highlight of the film. The story kind of moves along very, uh, very well, and it's a very unique, uh, very different uh, story, and and it kind of it, it, it kind of gets a little loose here and there. And now I'm gonna get into my problems with this movie. Even though I like the way that the story moves and it's a very fluent, very congruent, and and very breezing story that you can really grasp onto. It kind of felt loose. There are a lot of points in this film where the story just kind of went off track a little. There's a lot of scenes in this movie that could have been cut out. And I think that's due to the writing. Because even though you can cut out a lot of scenes in this movie, I feel like every single scene is important. Even the ones that are poorly filmed and poorly written, I feel like they kind of belong in the movie. And if you get rid of them, there's gonna be like a missing piece. That also has to do with bad editing. And the editing in this movie is, wow. I, I, I just can't help it because the pacing in this movie is like turtle speed. We're, we're really going slow. You can feel the runtime of this movie. And at some points, I, I kind of got a little bored because this movie is so slow and so boring and there's scenes that could have been cut out. But again, they have to stay in the movie. Another problem with the writing is, is that shit just doesn't make any sense at some points. But I think the biggest problem about this story, it's the way that it ends. The way that this movie ends is, is not what I was expecting it. Take that in a negative way, because I really wanted this film to end the way that I thought it would be. It was kind of building up to something. And I thought, oh, I know exactly how this is going to end, and it's going to be a perfect ending. Except Paul Schrader kind of turns my expectations in a very negative way. And I literally said uh, out loud, um, what the hell was that? So it, it, it kind of gave me the impression that Paul Schrader was trying to be a creative again, because... Without giving away too much, this movie ends on a cliffhanger. And I don't know if that's supposed to be artistic or it's supposed to be uh, creative. I don't know what Paul Schrader was thinking uh, because it kind of feels out of place. But I think the biggest, the biggest problem with this movie, it's it's out of nowhere soundtrack. This movie soundtrack literally comes out of nowhere. It, 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 it comes through the halfway point of this movie and it, I, I, I was so confused because when it comes in, it's awful. It's this ambient, eerie, atmospheric soundtrack, but in a horrible, bad way, and it doesn't fit, and I could barely hear it, and the mixing for it was awful. First Reformed is a really, really entertaining movie. It's Paul Schrader's most ambitious, most out there films, and it's definitely better than what he's been making recently. Even though there's a lot of amateur flaws, and with a writer of his stature, he should be able to make a story that's more tightly uh, knitted together and more neat. Um, however, he just kind of gets lost in his writing, and I feel like that's a huge thing that he can work on. If he's going, if he's going in a creative, uh, artistic direction, then I would really like to see Paul Schrader improve not just in his direction, but in his writing. Yeah, the editing is kind of weird, the pacing is weird, and the soundtrack, I... I don't know what the hell that was. First Reform, I do recommend it. 
Um, and I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10.